Na mkarimu tena mtazamaji tuendelee na taarifa zetu na moja kati ya maamuzi yanatarajiwa kutokana na malalamishi yaliyowasilishwa mahakamani dhidi ya matokeo uchaguzi wa urais ni mahakama kwa muru Raila Odinga apewe cheti cha ushindi iwapo hesabu ya kura itabainisha kwamba alishinda uchaguzi na kufikia vigezo vyote vilivyokuwa vimewekwa kisheria. Hii ni kwa mujibu wa kipengele cha 80 katika ibara ya 4 katika sheria ya uchaguzi ya mwaka 2011. Ibrahim Karanja anaelezea kuhusu uwezekano huu kando na uwezekano wa mahakama kurivia ushindi wa William Ruto au kuamuru kwamba wote wawili hawakufikia vigezo vinavyohitajika na kuwarudisha tena debeni. Kikubwa kati ya malalamishi saba dhidi ya uchaguzi wa urais aliyowasilishwa mahakamani ni haja ya kuyafuti ya mbali matokeo hayo kama yalivyotangazwa na IEBC. Kulingana na kipengele cha 140 cha katiba, uchaguzi utafanyika upya kote nchini iwapo mahakama ya upeo itabatilisha matokeo ya uchaguzi wa urais. Lakini kinachojitokeza sana katika ombi la Raila Odinga lile la mwanaharakati Okia Omtata pamoja na malalamishi mengine ni kuitaka mahakama kuamuru kuhesabiwa tena kwa kura zilizopigwa na iwapo mshindi atabainika sharti apewe cheti cha ushindi wa uchaguzi na IEBC. Hilo linamaanisha iwapo hesabu ya kura itaashiria kuwa Raila Odinga alimshinda William Ruto kwa wingi wa kura na pia kufikia vigezo vilivyowekwa vya ushindi wa urais basi IEBC yamrishwe kumpatia Odinga cheti na kufutilia mbali kile cha Ruto. Kipengele cha 80 ibara ya 4 cha sheria za uchaguzi mwaka 2011 kikiruhusu hayo. Ila kwa kile kinachoonekana kuwa kujilinda kutokana na makali ya sheria hiyo ya uchaguzi, mbunge wa Mugirango Kusini Silvanas Osoro tayari amewasilisha ombi katika mahakama kuu akitaka kipengee hicho kufutiliwa mbali kwa kukiuka katiba. Bestowing the powers of defining who the winner is and the loser, uh, you know, to only a few people uh, and that is the bench, uh, the Supreme Court is seven, and the other like for example the High Court is one. I mean, it will really be messy in this country. When the Supreme Court interprets the Constitution, it doesn't read a single provision in isolation. It reads the entire Constitution. Kulingana na Osoro, kipenge hicho kimekwenda zaidi ya ilivyobashiriwa kwenye katiba. Njia ya pili inayoitumia Kenya kwanza kuhakikisha kuwa Odinga hata faidi kupitia mpango huu ni ombi lililowasilishwa na aliyekuwa mbunge Moses Kuria akiitaka mahakama ya upeo kumpata Odinga na kosa la kukiuka sheria za uchaguzi. Kulingana na kipengee hicho cha sheria za uchaguzi, atakayepatikana kushinda uchaguzi atapewa cheti hicho kwa sharti kwamba asiwe amekiuka sheria za uchaguzi. In the event he is able to prove that Raila Odinga is liable or guilty of an election offence. And then you've also added, and in the event that the Supreme Court was to retally the votes and find Raila Odinga has won, will those two in the events stop him from being sworn in? And my answer is yes. But you see, those are two speculative situations. Walio na mtazamo kuwa Odinga huenda akapewa cheti cha ushindi pasi na taifa kurejeshwa katika uchaguzi wa pili, wanasema kuwa vipo vigezo vingine mbali na kipenge hicho kilicho wazi. Maamuzi mengine ambayo huenda yakajitokeza ni iwapo mahakama itapata kuwa matokeo yaliyotangazwa ni halali, basi itatupilia mbali malalamishi yote na Ruto ataapishwa baada ya siku saba. Ibrahim Karanja, NTV.